Hi guys, uh, hello everyone. Uh, today is my fourth day in hospital. Uh, diagnosis with the kidney. Actually, I have a stone in put my kidneys. That's why uh, you know I couldn't pray properly and uh, it was so hard. Uh, I was vomiting and uh, I was unable to pray it and it was so painful. It was started from my back and then. Uh, later on, it was started pending on my uh, abdominal, and um, doctor said that there's uh, you know stones on the boot of my kidneys, and on my abdominal uh, side the fluids are blocked. That's why you no know, I was unable to uh, do the urine also pee, and um, uh, let me show you the result. Um, I went to another. Uh, another lab to check my uh, kidney stone and uh, yes my sonography was done at Rimsha Diagnostic and here is the result let me show you see See, there are so many, uh, you know, uh, sonography result. Out of out of which, uh, th this one, the red mark is the stone, and the blue dots. See, the blue dots and the red one are the stones inside my kidneys, and it because of that it is blocked and uh, the urine is you know blocked. It is unable to pass through the tube that is why it started burning and luckily uh, there is no problem with the liver liver is normal and yes here the main issue is with the kidney that's it My sonography was done uh, yesterday and I'm feeling much better let me just remove it uh, I'm sorry so and I'm, I'm feeling much better and the pain has uh, reduced and yeah uh, still uh, I have the you know dizziness and weakness is still there but uh, since uh, there is no more pain on my back and then stomach uh, I'm planning to discharge by today and doctor told me that I can go by today and you know they discharge uh, by around 7 30 or 8 o'clock so I'm waiting for my brother he will come by uh, 7 30 and uh, uh, will take discharge from here and I uh, will go to my home so um, I hope uh, everyone is doing well and then everyone is uh, healthy and happy at home. Uh, please take care of yourself and um, drink water on time and then uh, be careful with the food which you are taking and which you are having every day because it depends on the food we, uh, which we are you know, taking and yes. Uh, that's all for today and let's hope that um, I'll see you in next video uh, with the uh, you know smile and then with the good health so thank you so much bye bye take care and stay healthy and stay blessed bye bye so guys uh, yeah I'm taking uh, right now I'm taking a break uh, there still uh, yet to finish some more uh, more medicines see and then this is the other one and 
let me show you this is where I sleep okay this is my room this is my cabin in hospital and here is outside So, uh, even though I am stay away from home, even though I am alone in Mumbai, uh, I'm so grateful that um, I have a friend in Mumbai. His name is uh, Akam. He's taking care of uh, me. You know, uh, he's always there whenever I need. He's always there whenever I'm sick. And even today, he's he's the one taking care of me and um, even now even today he gets food for me he's taking care of me and uh, in other aspects and <laughs> I'm feeling so strong and um, feeling so hope hopeful that all my family members uh, even though they are unable to come and visit me uh, they are there uh, you know praying for me and then uh, who who are wishes for the best and who are wishes for my good health so I'm feeling so strong and I'm happy to announce that um, I'm feeling much better and I'm going to discharge for the day so thank you so much uh, guys and thank you so much everyone for praying for me and uh, all the friends thank you so much um, I understand that um, at this time, at this, uh, you know, during this lockdown, no one is able to go outside, and uh, you know, you are unable to visit me in hospital, but uh, you are there, wherever you are, and you are praying for me and feeling for me. So that is, you know, much, you know, more than enough. And then uh, I hope that um, this situation will end very soon, and then. Well, we'll meet again very soon, uh, happily, with good health. So thank you so much everyone for loving me and taking care of me. And I love you all, thank you so much and I miss you all. Bye bye. Today I am in uh, Mumbai, right now in hospital. And it is really bad and it is really uh, hard to be you know, uh, alone and stay away from home. And uh, with this kidney stone, doctor suggested me to go for operation to operate the stones and remove the stones from the kidney. But uh, it's very risky. And since I'm alone here, you know, I don't have a sister or my mom here in Mumbai. Uh, they are in, uh, you know, they are in my hometown back in my hometown in Nagaland so I told doctor that uh, if there is any chance uh, you know to to be cured with the medicines I'll just continue with my medicines since uh, I'm alone here in Mumbai but it's too risky so doctor said yes uh, that is also possible and uh, uh, we can also help you with, with the medicines 
so I just said yes and then uh, uh, well we just uh, I just agreed with the doctor and I'm taking some medicines as you can see here the tablets and this is for the pain uh, the relief pain and this is for the uh, infections uh, there are infections in my ob abdominal tube it was actually my tube was blocked and this is for this is called sita this is for the kidney so i'm taking uh, this uh, medicines and yes uh, let's see how it goes and uh, i pray and hope that uh, everything will be fine and uh, seriously i don't uh, i do not wish to go for operation uh, I would imagine that it will be really painful to you know <laughs> to operate uh, my stomach and then uh, to operate my kidneys. That will be so um, pain and uh, harsh. Uh, so let me just wait for some time, and I'll uh, wait for the result uh, with the medicines. I hope uh, medicine will recover the pain and then it will you know dissolve the stones and it will be dis dis disappeared by automatically so um yeah that is all i wanted to share with you all guys Right, we are uh, 6.0. Record, can you okay? Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> 